Basketball Wives Recap, Evelyn and Jen are Frick and Frack 2.0 inches. Basketball Wives starts off with Shawnee and Timmy doing what they do, gossiping. They're kicking it about life. Tammy is getting married, but she's awaiting the ring, which according to her, has to be right, and Tammy still doesn't like the fact that Jen and Evelyn are friends again. You know, the usual. C slinks up with Evelyn and Jim to get down to the bottom of what they said about her giving out happy endings at her medical spa. If you recall, Kristen was the one who passed this message on to Cease, but Jen and Evelyn's version is that what Kristen left out is that they were just joking. Ragged, joking about someone performing happy endings at their business, which could hurt said person's livelihood is so ooh ooh funny. Anyway, it wasn't really clear that they were joking, but whatever. Jen and Evelyn surprisingly apologize, Cease is mature about it, accepts their apologies and plans to get to know them better. She even decides to have a party with the girls at her spa. Everyone except Tammy shows up to the party and Jin and Evelyn are upset with Kristen for running back to cease with their gossip. Jen, who has all of a sudden become pop-off queen, initiates she and Evelyn's gang up on Kristen, claiming she didn't tell Cease the truth. Kristen expresses that she thinks this is dumb, which it is. Then we lose more brain cells as Jen shifts the convo toward her legal drama and how she's going through a lot right now and doesn't need this extra situation she brought on herself. Then Cease gets emotional and says that these rumors could mess with her livelihood. Obviously. She really just wants them to understand how this is hurtful. Evelyn jumps in and surprisingly says she respects her business and what she does and that it was always a joke and that she hopes to move forward. They all seem to manage to get through the rest of this party without incident but Cease is annoyed and wants a break from the group, already. Tammy and Jackie met up with Og, a lingerie football league player, and new entry to Basketball Wives.
basically, Og is being eased into the mix. She's feisty and she's excited about meeting the group. She just so happens to be planning a Nigerian style backyard birthday party, but not before Jackie tells her about all the drama going down. Fast forward to Og's party. Everyone shows up. Evelyn and Timmy get a chance to chat. Basically, Tammy seemed to believe that Evelyn was trying to make Jackie's family look bad by donating to Jackie's daughter's GoFundMe that time and was adding fuel to Jackie's beef. We all know that Tammy and Jackie's brand of crazy is similar. Anyway, Evelyn feels like Tammy was fanning the flames with her input. Tammy disagrees with Evelyn but calls Jackie into the conversation. Evelyn maintains that she donated because the pictures moved her, which is believable to most sane people. Plus, we all know that Jackie and that daughter do not have a good relationship. Then we move on to Tammy demanding that Evelyn do her best Tammy impression since she had jokes when Tammy wasn't around. Evelyn points out that she did have jokes just like Tammy had jokes during her stand-up routines and in her bonnet chronicles. Evelyn doesn't do the impression but she definitely makes some shady remarks about Tammy's former appearance, before her basketball wives glow up. Tammy is annoyed and says she's not interested in going back and forth with Evelyn while going back and forth with Evelyn. Then Jackie gets involved in the conversation and they all start bickering again. All day, every day. This is what they do and that concludes another episode of the longest, and most inane, game of telephone ever.